Hello everyone, welcome to today's collective worship which is all about trust. Now we're going to learn about trust through the story of Noah and the Great Flood. This is one of my favourite Bible stories because, well, as you know, I like anything to do with the sea. So I've brought us down to start our assembly today to look at our surf boat at Paul Town, which is called the Blue Barley. And we use this boat to row out through the waves, rescue someone, and then surf a wave back in. And I thought I'd tell you a little bit about the boat before we learn our story of Noah. The Lord be with you. If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Our Christian value this half term is trust. Be trustworthy, look after the school and take on a role to help someone else. Our Bible verse is from Psalm chapter 18 verse 2. My God is my strength in whom I trust. So the Blue Barley is an Australian surf boat. And in this country, they're used to race against other surf boats from other Surf Life Saving Club. And I thought we'd start just by going through some of the names of parts of the boat, just like Noah and the Ark. So I wonder if anyone knows what this part of the boat is called. The bit right at the front. Have a think. Talk to the person next to you. What's this part of the boat called? Okay, did everyone get it? It's called a bow. This is the part of the boat that cuts through the water. And you can see that it comes to a quite a sharp point at the front and that's so it can punch through the waves. Okay, so we've looked at the bow and now I've come right to the back of the boat. And I'm wondering if anyone knows what the back of a boat is called. It begins with S. Have a think. Talk to the person next to you. Okay, well, I hope some of you got it. So the back of a boat is called a stern. Okay, so now we're looking inside the boat and you can see here, the sides of the boat and they've got a special name. They begin with G. I wonder if anyone knows what they're called. Have a chat to the person next to you. You can see that they go all the way from the bow all the way to the stern. Okay, these are called gunners. Well, let's go out of the wind and listen to the story of Noah's Ark. God saw that all people on the earth were acting badly, so he decided to send a flood that could wipe out all evil. However, <clears throat> there was one good man on earth. His name was Noah, and God trusted him. God decided that he would save Noah by telling him that the flood was coming. He would instruct Noah to build a really big boat called an ark. After Noah had built the ark, God told him to put two of every animal on the earth in it, both male and female. When Noah, his family and the animals were all safely on the ark, the rain began to fall. It kept raining for 40 days and 40 nights. The waters flooded over the earth. Every living thing on the face of the earth was wiped out except for Noah, his family and the animals who were safe on the ark. When the sun came out, the waters started to dry up and the ark came to a rest on a mountain. Noah sent out a raven to find dry land, but it came straight back. A few days later, he sent the dove. The dove returned with a leaf in its beak. When the dove was sent out again, it did not return. The waters must have dried up completely, exclaimed Noah. So all of the animals and Noah's family left the ark. God promised that he would never again send another flood that covered the earth and made a rainbow in the sky to remind everyone of his promise. 
Time to reflect. Now, I'd like you to think about all the different kinds of animal that went on the ark. There's far too many to include in our assembly today. I think it's still important for people to care for Earth's creatures, just like Noah did. These pictures that you're seeing here are all of animals that are endangered. Now today, there are lots of places of safety besides the ark. Some pandas are kept in zoos and they care for them and they try to increase the numbers of baby pandas that are born. Other animals are protected in reserves, which are areas of forest or big swathes of land, and they're kept safe from poachers. Now, although the story of Noah is very old, it can help us to remember to care for animals, especially those animals that are in danger today. God put his trust in Noah to save the animals. This week in school, Have a think about the people that you trust and why you trust them. Let us pray. And if you want to make it your prayer, say Amen at the end. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. And deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.